Our service of morning prayer begins on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for God made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In God's hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it, and God's hand has molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and be, kneel before the Lord our Maker. For God is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to God's voice. The earth is the Lord's, for God made it. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 72, beginning on page 685 of the Book of Common Prayer. God's mercy is everlasting. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people he shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. 
May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and to be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The mercy of God is everlasting. A reading from the book of Judges. Chapter 3, verses 12 through 20. The Israelites again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord strengthened King Eglon of Moab against Israel, because they had done what was evil in the sight of the Lord. In alliance with the Ammonites and the Amalekites, he went and defeated Israel, and they took possession of the city of Palms. So the Israelites served King Eglon of Moab for 18 years. But when the Israelites cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up for them a deliverer, Ehud, son of Gera, the Benjaminite, a left-handed man. The Israelites sent tribute by him to King Eglon of Moab. Ehud made for himself a sword with two edges, a cubit in length, and he fastened it on his right thigh under his clothes. Then he presented the tribute to King Eglon of Moab. Now Eglon was a very fat man. When Ehud had finished presenting the tribute, he sent the people who carried the tribute on their way. But he himself turned back at the sculptured stones near Gilgal and said, I have a secret message for you, O king. So the king said, Silence. And all his attendants went out from his presence. Ehud came to him while he was sitting alone in his cool roof chamber and said, I have a message from God for you. So he rose from his seat. Then Ehud reached with his left hand, took the sword from his right thigh, and thrust it into Eglon's belly. The hilt also went in after the blade, and the fat closed over the blade, for he did not draw the sword out of the belly, and the dirt came out. Then Ehud went out into the vestibule and closed the doors of the roof chamber and locked them. After he had gone, the servants came. When they saw that the doors of the roof chamber were locked, they thought, he must be relieving himself in the cool chamber. So they waited until they were embarrassed. When he did not open the doors of the roof chamber, they took the key and opened them. There was their Lord lying dead on the floor. Ehud escaped while they delayed and passed beyond the sculptured stones and escaped to Selah. When he arrived, he sounded the trumpet in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites went down with him from the hill country, having him at their head. He said to them, Follow after me, for the Lord has given your enemies to the Moabites into your hand. So they went down after him and seized the fords of the Jordan against the Moabites and allowed no one to cross over. At that time, they killed about 10,000 of the Moabites, all strong, able-bodied men. No one escaped. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest for 80 years. After him came Shamgar, son of Anath, who killed 600 of the Philistines with an ox goad. He too delivered Israel. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together the invocation Section 3 and the doxology of Canticle number 12. Benedici te omnia opera domini. Beginning on page 88 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glorify the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. 
Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priest and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 15 through 26. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 people and said, Friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Spirit through David foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the reward of his wickedness, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. This became known to all the residents of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their language, Akeldama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his homestead become desolate, and let there be no one to live in it. And let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who have accompanied us throughout the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph, called Barabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together, Canticle 15, the Magnificat, beginning on page 91, the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remem remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 27, verses 45 through 54. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, wait, 
Let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, truly this man was God's son. Here ends the reading. Let us pray together Canticle 20, Gloria in Excelsis, beginning on page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Generous God, whose Son Jesus Christ enjoyed the friendship and hospitality of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, Lazarus of Bethany, open our hearts to love you, our ear, ears to hear you, and our hands to welcome and serve you and others. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you poured your Spirit from on high to bless and summon these women who heard the strength of your call. Equip, guide, and inspire us with wisdom, boldness, and faith to trust you in all circumstances. Hear you preach new life to your church and stretch out hands to serve you as you created us and redeemed us in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God everlasting. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, 
that in the vocation and the ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. To God we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her, for all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, parsons, all lay people leading services at this time. O God, we pray for all the nations of this world, for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. Dear God, we pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy, for those in prison. We pray for those suffering from COVID-19 and those who are concerned about it. We pray for the unemployed and those facing financial insecurity. We pray for Shepherd, Mana, Fred, Rose, Aster, Johnny, John, Roger. Dear God, we pray for the souls of all the departed. We pray for all those who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Brianna, Ahmad, Richard, Elijah, any and all who are too countless to name, who have died, been killed, been murdered, been executed because of racial bias, bigotry, hatred, indifference. We pray for Tom, Carol, Charlie, Johnny, Richard, Robert, Daniel, Vicki, Kelly, Willie, Dorothy. And we pray for all victims of violence throughout the world. Dear God, we pray for the concerns of this community, for all those we hold dear in our heart. We pray for Polly, Shirley, Bill, Fred, John, Richard, Harris family, Gregory, Lola, B, Congo Timothy, Asrael, Beth, Kay, Jerome, Mormons, Roger and his wife, Baby Isla, Mackenzie, Dreamers, S. Salon family, Tony, Teresa, Luis, Luansings, Otis, Thomas Patrick, Lou, Osun, Yastianas, Howard, Sophia, Ricky, Annika, Elizabeth, Dr. Lenz, Nicole, Jesus, Penny, Claire, Katie. We pray for all those suffering from addiction. May they maintain their sobriety in these anxious times. We pray for all who are estranged from family and loved ones. May the love of Christ join them back together. And we pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will let us join together in a spirit of kindness and friendship and peace and forge a time of rebirth and recovery. God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for government workers, medical workers, frontline workers, emergency workers, grocery store clerks, truck drivers, delivery people, all who work to keep us healthy, safe, and fed. We pray, give thanks for this community here at All Saints. We give thanks for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, and our office administrator, Augustine. We give thanks for our Saturday morning food program, and we pray to you for those who are fed by it. Giving thanks for the volunteers who serve in this ministry and praying that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris and the baptism of Perevi. Most of all, great God, we give you thanks for this wonderful, marvelous, incredible, amazing gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray?
Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen. <laughs>